Yes, good morning. It's that favorite time of the day. Once again, welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Tuesday, the 13th of December 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. Rock and roll as always. Right, quite looking forward to this. There's been some GC movements. Right, we've got CoreCoin BTC, SegWit protocol with a fundamental value of precisely zero, currently with a speculative price of $17,409. That's going to hurt a lot of people. Then we've got Bcrash, what a joke, and Fisher Price Cash, who cares? And then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. Oh yeah. Right, so uh, the most valuable commodity on earth, yours today for just $47. <laughs> oh, we'll never get tired of that. Uh, hash rate 0.32, let's have a quick look at that. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, popped up uh, a little bit there. Nice one, there we go. Uh, let's have a look at difficulty on BTC just quickly. Uh, right, Leveling off there, but uh, we looked at it yesterday. It's still like the all-time high, uh, and yet the prices have collapsed. It's going to be tough for those miners to uh, stay profitable. Again, uh, I think it's all um, Foundry USA Pool, which is MasterCard, uh, adding the hash rate on the network. That's what I think, Yeah, yeah. in my opinion. Uh, network nodes 0.46, transactions 71.25, that's gone down. That was uh, sort of knocking on low 90s previously. Let's have a quick look at that in comparison. 21.4%, uh, just uh, 800,000 transactions over the last 24 hour period. XRP, completely fake phony transactions. Uh, they can't, but they, they're maxed out, they can't do any more than that. So 1.2 million, and Ethereum 1.1 million. That's a lot of money being uh, being spent on their network because they can't scale. What a joke, what a joke. Uh, blocks, block size though, look at this, 94.4. Again, this is percentage-wise in comparison to these other uh, Bitcoin forks. Um, interesting, all right. Let's have a little look at the size of these blocks coming through the network then. Oh, beauty, we have got another 1.2 gigabyte block uh, in the last three blocks that have just been created. Fantastic, loving that. Uh, relatively low. Um, so got a gigabyte block out of nowhere. Uh, just had another one come in though, 200 megabytes. Uh, but the rest of them all single figure megabytes. But uh, I'm sounding disappointed. But really, you know, you've got CoreCoin, BTC, can't get their blocks over two megabytes. Uh, Bcrash can't get all their blocks over a megabyte. Uh, not a single megabyte block in that column of 30. And uh, Fisher Price Cash still can't get all their blocks over a kilobyte, let alone anywhere near a megabyte. So uh, it's not like we're even comparing ourselves to them, really. <laughs> a bit like a golfer uh, playing golf. You know, you're just you're up against yourself. That's what it's. Uh, that's what it feels like. All right, let's get back on with these figures and hash rate. So hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Remember, if something is useful, it's valuable. If something is useless, it's worthless. It's as simple as that. Proof of work by network, it's all coming over to Bitcoin because it's the only protocol with any true economic fundamental value because it's the only way to commoditize data, meaning these other shitcoins here are all security offerings and economically worthless. It's currently 40,786 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin and it's 6.8% uh, more profitable to mine on CoreCoin though, but I'm sure that's going to change soon. Uh, daily average Bitcoin block size by network, yeah, a Bitcoin smashed it. We'll see some huge increase in these figures soon, I've no doubt. Uh, transactions by network, Bitcoin smashing it. Transactions per block, Bitcoin smashing it. Fees are USD, so uh, ooh, Bitcoin just just uh, just of just over one cent uh, average transactions. Fees Satoshi's yet yeah, still winning. Just, uh, maybe that's because the transaction volume has gone down. We need higher transactions to reduce the uh, transaction fees. 
Uh, daily Bitcoin fee to block award ratio. So the uh, red line there will be representative of the solid blue line here. As the block reward continues to get cut in half every 210,000 blocks, eventually the block fee will, apply, will surpass the block reward. And then we have an economically self-sustaining system, which is what we are gunning for because we are true Bitcoiners, true Bitcoin maxis, as opposed to BTC and BCH and all those other shit coiners uh, who don't really have a clue what Bitcoin is, which is why they're shit coiners. <laughs> um... Here we go. Daily cumulative Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. So it leveled off a little bit. It'd be interesting to see what the growth is like in comparison to, uh, well, we're talking, it's always going to be bigger than uh, BTC anyway because they've got one megabyte block size. Uh, global hash rate, seven days. Yeah, again, Foundry USA, Paul. I mean, look at that. Like 25% pretty much. That That's that's where the difficulty is coming from. That's what's making it uh, far more, ex uh, well, far more, uh, difficult for the other miners to uh, mine on. I mean, that's a huge amount of hash rate. Massive. Absolutely massive. Uh, global hash rate, seven days. Look, Foundry USA pool, squeezing them, 28.03%. 27%, .03%. Uh, this is Core Coin BTC. Again, you know, just a huge amount of hash rate on there. But, I mean, futile. Again, I think the only reason they're mining it is to front run the, uh, to front run the eventual collapse to wipe out as much value from the market as possible. Uh, B crash, like I said, uh, Satoshi will have no mercy on these uh, shit coiners. Uh, they don't even have the excuse that uh, they got confused by the ticker symbol. They are sinners in the eyes of Satoshi. Uh, same with uh, Fisher Price Cash. I mean, honestly, what a what a joke. And this is Bitcoin. Look at this, Calvin. Will be pleased. Still 61.1% of the overall hash rate. That means uh, again, you're scooping up 61.1% of the blocks that are uh, produced every 10 minutes. Uh, wow. Yeah, I mean, that's that, the return on investment there is going to be absolutely massive. But uh, pro hashing and uh, mining Dutch increasing their own personal hash rates on the network. Uh, usually these are slithers of um, hash rate, but this is uh, quite substantial, really. Um, yeah, I mean, w just watch this. Watch this space. There'll be more to come. More to come. The reason we're managing the, uh, the profitability on the chain is because we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on there. And the reason we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on this because the only thing they understand is dollar worshipping, which leads on to price manipulation, which we will look at now in the short positions. Look at this. Look at this. These short positions have literally been all but wiped out. My goodness. Look at that. 0.79%. Uh, 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 just near under 1%. Short but literally nothing there. Short, they've just got 27 BSV. Uh, in short positions on um, Bitfinex. Um, longs, they got uh, 3,000, uh, uh, yeah, 3,390. Um, that, that's quite a lot, actually. That's quite a lot uh, of, uh, well, yeah, well, not, consider not considering, not taking into comparison the actual size of uh, Bitfinex, but in terms of, um, you yeah, know, I mean, like, yeah. 3,000, uh, if it was 3,000 BTC, you know, it's, it's a lot. Personally, I wouldn't want to risk it, but, uh, you know, uh, a lot of people have got a lot of money, you know, you want to degenerate gamblers, but that's good. Look at that, short positions, that means confidence is being knocked. So we, were these short positions artificial? That's the question you've got to ask yourself. Were they just simply there to... Uh, to throw off potential investors who didn't like the look of uh, all these short positions? Uh, being open on this, uh, indicating that sentiment was uh, was extremely negative towards the network. You know, we will we will find out very soon. But again, look, look, longs are still going down because they have no idea what Bitcoin. Look, they think because because the, the price is going up, it's going to come back down because they don't have an, uh, they don't, they just don't understand it. Um, uh, but yes, yeah, so um, I would say longs should be going up. But like I said. You know, traders, dirty traders, all the gear, no idea. Uh, let's have a look at this one. So this is trading view. Uh, and uh, so uh, this is BTC. We've got 24.3 on there, BTC. I mean, is this so the volume of short? This this has got to be uh, B, is it BSV? Hmm. Um, well, uh, actually, I'm not sure what this uh, chart represents, how many there are, but 
Uh, any short positions going down uh, represents an increase, uh, means that you know, confidence is going up. So uh, very good indicator there. Very good indicator. Loving that. Let's have a look at core coin. Oh, look at this. So um, uh, short, short ratio, short ratio, short ratio going down. Short positions are dropping off. Uh, longs, I mean, look at that. It's just a straight line. Uh, if you ask me, it's just all, it's just all manipulation. Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, like how many? Well, yeah. I was just going to say how many stupid people are there, but uh, you know, as we've seen recently in the current climate, there's quite a lot. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so for any newbies watching this, these are uh, Bitcoin mining operations. This is the backbone to the new global financial system. The world's first ever commercial internet blows my mind every time. Every time. Just simply sensational. Sensational stuff. Remember, there's going to be there's going to be lots of newbies coming in wanting to know about all this stuff very soon. So uh, you know, wise up and help 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 uh, explain it to them. We need as many people using Bitcoin as possible. And remember, it's all about using it, not trading it. Uh, the reason the powers that be have encouraged trading is because trading. Traders, traders take value out. Traders just simply pickpocket from each other. Traders don't produce anything. Uh, you know, for every one trader that's successful, you know, he's probably pickpocketed ten others and made them poorer. Uh, so we want uh, we want investment and we want usage. Um, just don't need any uh, traders. You know. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Coin Carbon Cap. Then, yeah, Bitcoin still winning. I've still. I mean, this is only like one thousand four hundred sixty nine. Transactions per megawatt hour. I've seen this as high as three hundred sixty thousand, um, you know. But still, in comparison to uh, B Crash, just fifteen point six, and uh, Core Coin a one point six. So uh, the powers that be that are encouraging us to uh, reduce our carbon footprint have um, uh, made BTC one of the most inefficient coins on the market, so they can complain about it. They've done it on purpose. Restricted the block size, so people can't use it. You know, building this Lightning Network, which. Uh, uh, takes transaction fees away from the miners, basically starves the network. So it's just gonna, um, it's just gonna die, you know. But I mean, we've got some really stupid people over in BTC. <laughs> uh, here we go, BSV data. Let's have a look. Data size, Metro ID. They've gone up, producing 2.3 gigabytes. That was uh, one just the other day, but I've seen that as high as uh, 10 or 11. Uh, run protocol 19,000. Let's have a look at applications then. Uh, my two cents, 636,000 transactions, 30 hash, 31,000, Relasia, 14,000. Crypto fights coming back up, 8 points, or uh, um, uh, 8,893. Finex, uh, 8,300. Twitch, 5,965. I think they might be getting this volume here uh, from maybe sales of, um, you know, item like uh, in, uh, uh, NFTs and hoodies and stuff, maybe. I mean, doing exceptionally well for themselves if that is the case. Like, my goodness. Uh, actually, yeah. I mean, what they're selling the uh, they're selling the green ticker now. <sighs> so uh, yeah, fair play. Hats off to the boys over at Twitch. Um, yeah, with with that amount of output volume, that's uh, that's exceptional. You know, uh, well done, well done. Uh, crypto quant. Look, oh, look at look at that. Look at that. All exchanges reserves. So there's a uh, 2,250,787 um, BTC in reserve. Uh, uh, apparently here. Yeah, so uh, overall circulating supply is what, like 19 something million. And they're indicating here they've got 2.2 million. Uh, but exchanges cashing out. I mean, look, where, how many were there up here? 3 million up there. Three million, and again, I've seen it much higher. This this sort of goes off the charts uh, up there. Oh, let's have a look at all. Oh, oh, is that it? I'm sure it goes back further than that. But anyway, look at that off a cliff, off a cliff. My goodness, look, have you ever seen? Look, have you? Has there ever been a line like that? Consistent selling. They know what's coming. They know what's coming. Take heed. This is why education is so vital to actually understand what you're looking at here. Whew. Wouldn't want to touch that with a barge pole. No, sir. Uh, what's on chain? So uh, 703,000 transactions over the last 24 hours. 
Here we go. Right, so uh, total market cap, $865 billion of utter shite. Uh, BTC trade volume is going down. Look, just 3.5. Um, trade volume is usually around 5%. That that indicates a lack of interest. Really, it's uh, just 3.5%. People just hodling, not really many people buying. Uh, yeah, interesting. Right, let's have a look at Bitcoin then, shall we? So, yeah, we still got three stable coins in the top six. What a joke. Uh, XRP still hanging in there. You know, even though they've got this uh, SEC case coming up. I mean, if the SEC... <laughs> Ripple is such a joke. XRP, RP stands for Ripple and X stands for like Transact. You know, so it's like transact Ripple. Ripple completely own and control XRP. Uh, the SEC are in a bit of a tricky situation because the powers that be are probably trying to nudge them to say, uh, oh, you know, it shouldn't be a security when they know that it is. And honestly, whoever says that that is not a security is going to have egg on their face. It is absolutely a security, as are the rest of these. Absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, Bitcoin at 43. Check it out. Trade volume. Look at that. Uh, 6.9, 6.94, almost 7%. Uh, so that's all um, a 2% above uh, above the sort of industry average. That shows interest. Look at that. Look at this steady increase in the price. Look at that. Nice over the week. 30 days. What's that like? Oof. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. And uh, in the green. We'll take that. Great stuff. Now let's get into the juicy parts. Oh, look at that! Just had a just had a decrease in the price. This this is going to be funny. Look at this. So the literally the price has been up and down like a whore's drawers. This this is artificial. This is market manipulation. I mean, look at that! Boom, straight down. Look, I mean, just straight down. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But we'll we'll probably soon see it pop straight back up. Uh, if the because I think the price is being defended. Um, all these sharp movements in price up and down just simply show market manipulation. And uh, they are they're doing that to shake people's confidence in the market. But if the price is being defended, it means those who sell um, maybe can't back can't get back in quick enough. And if somebody else is defending it, it goes back up. Well, they've got to buy back in at a higher price. Oh, dear. The idea is the price is being defended. So whenever it gets uh, thrown back down, it gets thrown straight back up again quicker than they can get back in. So uh, basically, you know, dirty traders. Well, I, I would say it's nefarious entities uh, doing stuff like that. Uh, let's have a look at that on just the one hour chart. Look at that straight down. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's that cracks me up. That cracks me up. Uh, Coin Gecko, how are we feeling about it today? Feeling good. 86 percent. We'll take that. Tether weather, just quickly, let's have a look at this. Whoa, whoa, losing its peg to the upside. Look at that. This will be interesting to see what the market capitalization is like because if the um, if the uh, if it's losing its peg to the upside, it means there's demand for it, and if there's demand for tether, it means that they're probably pumping it into BTC. So this will be very interesting. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? So market cap gone from uh, 65.7 billion to uh, 65.8 billion. So that's a uh, hundred million. Yeah, that's hundred million. It's gone up. Uh, yeah, yeah, hundred million. <laughs> hundred million, just like that. A hundred million. That's actually quite substantial because we're talking 65 billion. So that next figure is uh, is the hundred millions. So that's a hundred million, just like that. A <laughs> hundred million, just like that, as you do. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So remember, it's a it's a thousand uh, million that makes a billion. And they've just pumped it up by a hundred million. Ugh. Look at that. It's quite a substantial increase there. Look and more. Desperately trying to defend. I mean, look. BSV doesn't, you know, the genuine Bitcoin doesn't have any defences like this and all the shit corners are just like cheering on BTC because all they do is dollar worship. All they care about is number go up. They don't give a monkeys about the actual financial uh, effects of actually using an alternative monetary system because they haven't got the intellectual capacity to understand it. But I mean, this is outrageous. It's cheering on dollar worshipping. 
Oh, honestly, outrageous. <clears throat> Uh, so this is uh, Bitcoin versus a cool coin BTC. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, look, vol volatility in the price there. So this will be the tether pump. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be tether pumping that, bringing that price down in comparison. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're trying to defend. Uh, they're trying to defend the ratio against the genuine Bitcoin, which is BSV. That's, and literally because nobody wants it, all they all they're relying on is tether. It's outrageous. It's outrageous. Uh, again, look at that. Yeah, look, look, cool coin BTC. Look straight up. That is your, that's your tether pump. That's your tether pump. Absolutely outrageous. And again, the only reason they're pumping it is because they're trying to keep the margin the same between uh, BSV and BTC, so that with traders, because all traders do is look at the price. They don't actually bother looking at any of the uh, the fundamental figures under the hood. It's all about number go up for them. Um, wow, wow, utter manipulation. Um, and this is Bitcoin versus USD. Uh, so again, just market ma market manipulation, trying to pull the price down. But look at that, it's looking strong. Looking really strong. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that, yeah, powers that be desperate to, uh, powers that be desperate to prevent price discovery from kicking in, is what they're trying to do by the looks of things. Uh, all right, let's have a look at Silverfish. So we've got 17,824 views. Beautiful. So we're closing in on 18,000. That would be pretty good. Uh, so we've got Farmers, Food Supply and Money, 941 views. Hopefully get to 1,000 on there soon. Let's get into a little bit of news here. Check this out. Uh, breaking news. FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried arrested. Set to be extradited to the US. Uh, it will be interesting to see how much he can get away with with all the dirty politicians that he's... Uh, you know, donated money to, you know, but everybody knows he's an absolute scammer, you know, trying to throw his girlfriend under the bus and all this kind of stuff, you know, always, uh, you know, being nice and nice and polite to talk to, you know, like butter wouldn't melt in his mouth, oh, I just made a mistake, I'm so innocent, absolutely outrageous, but uh, nobody's falling for it, well, nobody, nobody with any intelligence is falling for it, it's just the mainstream press that's on his side, trying to, trying to uh, treat him like a pity case. But, you know, public sentiment is against him. So it'd be interesting to see what they do. Um, yeah, you know, watch watch this space. Uh, check this out. Whoa. So Binance withdrawal surge as concerns about its reserve report shook traders. Again, you know, FTX collapsed. There was another crypto exchange in Australia that collapsed earlier. You know, uh, I wouldn't want your money on an exchange at all. Look at this. Look at that. Did we get to see this? So that is uh, 932, um, yeah, 932,192,363 by the looks of it. Um, so almost, almost a billion. So almost a billion dollars worth uh, flowing. Uh, yeah, so that's net 24 hours. A billion dollars worth out in 24 hours off Binance. Oof. Oof. And again, it's all it's, it's exchanges liquidity. Let's have a quick look at this. Here we go. Jump trading. Don't really know what that is. Hmm. Have a quick look. Again, I don't bother looking at shitcoins, so I don't really um, don't really know what I'm looking at here. Smart money is that like Binance Smart Chain? Again, I'm I'm out of date on this. I don't, honestly, I cannot be. I literally cannot be bothered. It's just such a waste of time. Utter shitcoinery. Utter shitcoinery. Uh, but check this out. First mover Americans, Kathy Woods Ark buys more coin. That's that's Coinbase. Uh, dear, oh dear. So speculating on uh, on Coinbase. Top stories. Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Management bought 78,982 shares in cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase Coin at first investment. Um, at its first investment, um, its its first investment in the crypto exchange in a month. At Friday's closing price of forty dollars twenty four cents, the purchase would have cost around three million dollars. The stock has been in a uh, funk in recent months and is down almost 60% from $98 in early August. The purchase takes the ARK uh, innovative ETF uh, holdings to 5.7 million coin shares. What a joke, honestly. 
Yeah, but everyone's looking at Kathy Wood. It just goes to show you that this lot know absolutely nothing, and uh, and all they did was get lucky. That's literally uh, that's literally all they've done. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. I need coin. I can't bother looking at. It. Here we go. No. Down eighty seven. Look, all she's doing is just buying cheap shit. That's all she's doing. Like utter shit. You know, everyone's oh, Kathy Wood's amazing. She got lucky. She has no idea what she's doing. You know, I'm buying BTC as well. But, you know, stupid is as stupid does. We know the truth and that's all that matters. Right, 25-minute show. We'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there and we'll see you in the next one.